Hello, everybody. It's a pleasure to be with you guys here for the grand finale and uh, talking about a very relevant topic, uh, the traits of the leaders uh, nowadays, uh, how we survive as leaders in the current uh, world situation. Uh, I think more than ever, as a leader, we need to pass through to our teams the importance of our purpose as organization. Yes, there is always a uh, people you want to have for a transactional temporary project and uh, these people are going to come in and go out. But the ones that you really want to work with you to develop the business, these ones needs to be connected to the common goal and the common purpose of the company, what you want to achieve with the company. Because more than ever, we are working far from each other. Um, we... Um, the connection between the people in the team and the team is personally uh, more difficult every day. So the engagement to the reason why we are doing this together more than ever is important for the loyalty to the purpose and to the results of the company. So the importance of purpose uh, for the team for me is one of the key traits that a leader has to be able to uh, engage with. Uh, the other uh, topic that I think is very critical for leaders these days is um, the importance of diversity and inclusion, right? Companies that have a good, uh, diverse and inclusive team have up to 26% better results because with that you have people with different perspectives, different backgrounds, different um, ideas to add on to your uh, business development. So nowadays, more than ever, diversity and inclusion is something that is critical that a new leader uh, have in mind. Uh, something else is the importance of technology today, how we work. We used to work until a couple of months ago, uh, looking to each other in the eye in the office. Uh, not every day, but some days uh, at least. But now, everything disappeared. And the question is how much of that we're gonna come back. So it's very critical to uh, be able to manage the working from the distance effectively. What I uh, like very much and I see in um, some of the discussions I have with my leaders is uh, to be very clear uh, on the approach tight, loose, tight being tight on determining to the team what is expected from them and by when, being loose, letting them do that in the time they have, mainly now with schools not being back in all countries, and uh, being tight again on uh, basically uh, following up that the results are delivered. So working from the distance with technology requires more discipline. But also it requires that once in a while we still see each other to keep the bond, to keep the networking. So I think that uh, manage the technology and the distance with discipline, but it's still engagement. Uh, it's also a critical trait for a leader nowadays. Um, managers, I believe you're going to have much less space in the future. Uh, if you're just on top of your team, just checking what they're doing, uh, this is a very shallow work. Uh, deep work is what is really necessary. Deep work to really understand the field and in depth uh, develop something. But also leadership, leadership to inspire these people, again, going after the same purpose with you as a leader. Last but not least, I think that uh, adaptability and flexibility more than ever is something that a leader has to have. That was always the case but now more than ever. I've been working in different regions in Europe that's more stable, but also Asia, China, Philippines. Philippines is a very natural uh, disaster, unstable uh, country, but also uh, back in Latin America, where I'm originally from, uh, we have a lot of um, flexibility, uh, flexible situations and uh, unstable situations that we have to be flexible with. Uh, so I've been used to that, but not all leaders everywhere have had so much volatility and uncertainty uh, like this year. And I believe that this year is really a proof point of uh, good leadership because everybody can be captain 
of a, a ship when it's in calm waters. It's really in the rough waters that you, you know good leadership, that you know adaptability, that you know flexibility. And uh, I think this year we're going to prove a lot uh, of that for uh, a lot of us. So um, in short, uh, I believe that these are the key five traits that a leader nowadays have to have. So the importance of being able to share the importance of purpose with the teams, being able to um, uh, manage a team uh, that is well mixed with diversity and inclusion, being able to manage um, the technology uh, aspect of how having the team engaged, even if uh, far from each other, but making sure also that uh, you are a leader, not a manager, engaging with them from wherever they are, and last but not least, adaptability and flexibility. So I wish you all um, a great uh, week ahead of you. Thank you so much again for having me here uh, in the closing speech. Uh, thanks, Fabio, for uh, that uh, presentation and uh, uh, very, very valid points. Uh, and uh, diversity and inclusion uh, is, is, is so, so uh, paramount for success. Any tangible points, any tangible actions that leaders should focus on. Uh, so diversity and inclusion center stage uh, to their uh, business strategy. Uh, for me, uh, both related to purpose and diversity and inclusion. It's not only about talking, uh, it's about doing. So it's very critical to have clear programs and KPIs to make sure that it really happens. So, for example, we have a diversity and inclusion program with our team here in Latin America, and we have different levels of the program. So one of them is about ensuring that women have the same um, uh, opportunity to grow, because we saw that there, there were many women. We have more than 50 percent of women, but in a certain moment, they stopped growing at the same speed here in Latin America as men. So we wanted to understand why. So we had to dig deeper. And one of the things we saw was the workload uh, at home. So we have started like coaching and mentoring and even speech of men that support their women so they can grow. So very tangible program of coaching, mentoring, and even uh, benchmarking uh, for women to, uh, to be able to see others and learn from them. Uh, other program that we have is to make sure that we bring people from different backgrounds to the organization because we saw that we were only getting the people from the richest schools because they speak English. But there are a lot of people from more suburban schools that very, very talented young people that do not get a chance because they don't speak English. So we started a, a diversity and inclusion program to attract uh, kids from more, uh, let's say, uh, less uh, um, Poorer areas, but just by giving them an English training, uh, you are able to attract these talents that before would not have a chance. Uh, we also started a program for 55 pluses uh, to re enter the job market using their experience, uh, but people that were having difficulty to, to find new jobs. So, uh, very specific programs with very specific KPIs that retract once a quarter. So, it's not only about talking. And it's the same for purpose for us. Our purpose is also related to access to healthcare and to sustainability. We do not talk only about that. We have specific targets with specific tracking. So uh, I think that uh, this is critical for any leader. And to talk and inspire people is critical. But to make sure that you uh, track what you are inspiring on is also. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and you think that... Uh, uh, you know, more than ever, empathy is one key area that is now uh, center stage uh, for uh, leadership. No doubt, because when you're working uh, offline, you see the person, so the empathy is much easier to build. But when you're talking, working online, uh, globally, I was reading a report that the uh, numbers of uh, cases uh, uh, Compliance cases because people feel mistreated online have grown. So more than ever, empathy is critical to make sure that people keep the bond uh, as a team and keep connected again to the purpose of the company. Uh, 
Uh, we are more connected online and uh, more and more um, discussions are happening on Zoom meetings. Uh, we would love to have face-to-face -face meetings as well. But do you think that now we have uh, much more connection and uh, greater um, ideas on how we can ramp up uh, you know, skills uh, for our um, workforce, for our employees? Mm -hmm. Uh, you think uh, that is helping uh, the um, companies and the leaders to really look at how to upskill um, uh, the people in the company? Um, interesting what what you say. In quarter two, when the whole pandemic came here to Latin America, we had like half of the people working super hard because they were in the healthcare part of the business. And the other half, they were like, what do we do? You know, because... It was more the consumer part of the business. Everybody was at home and not spending. So what we did, we used the time to train people. We said, let's train these people. Let's put trainings one after the other so they, they are busy uh, uh, and learning in this period. And it goes back to one point I mentioned in the beginning about shallow work and deep work. Uh, what you see is that more and more you need to be understand the depth of what the people are doing and tracking what you expected from expected from that person. And then um, uh, this is uh, something that uh, online uh, with very clear KPIs, very clear uh, expectation set, you can track yes. well. And uh, I think that uh, the, the one thing that we cannot replace, and we did a survey internally and more than 50% of people said uh, that's the case. There are two things that people are having difficulty uh, very much. One is to disconnect. And the other is uh, to disconnect, I mean, in this case, unplugging after the end of the day. And the other is to connect with the colleagues. <laughs> so I do believe that we're going to go back to a scenario where we're going to be going to the office to connect with people, but for different things. For individual work, for um, uh, work with one-to-one, uh, -one, uh, this kind of things we're probably going to keep doing online because it is more efficient. You don't spend time in traffic. Uh, you do not uh, spend time, uh, let's say, uh, um, uh, too much chit-chatting. But you're going to have uh, uh, more time necessary to, again, build the empathy and be close uh, engaging with your teams. So uh, now we are reopening offices here and we are using them for activities like networking, brainstorming, things related to creativity and bonding. So team buildings and um, the rest we keep uh, more uh, at home still. Thank you so much, uh, Fabio, for that. And it's so great to connect with you right, uh, right from Panama. And yeah. uh, fabulous, fabulous sharing. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me here. And um, uh, great to be here in the end of the, the closure of the event. I hope uh, everybody enjoyed it very much.